Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today is story time. I want to tell you guys about me getting scammed. So, started a new job. Um, if you don't know, actually I won't disclose what industry I work in because otherwise, you know, it's a small world. Everyone kind of knows each other. Anyway, started a new job. I was, uh, let's say three months in, made a friend. She worked in HR. Hmm. So she used to tell me all things that I shouldn't know for somebody who used to work in HR. So see, I'm really nice. I don't want to get in trouble, so I won't say where I work or what industry because um, I can tell you it's financial industry anyway. That's enough. Uh, if you watch some videos that I've done in the past, you probably do know. Anyway, so I made a friend. Uh, she was really nice to me. She would tell me personal things about people. Obviously, I wasn't very impressed with her telling me personal information about other people because I'm thinking, if you're telling me about other people, then you're not really being you're not you're not being a good person because they're telling you this information in confidence. And your role in HR is to keep confidentiality confidentiality. So anyway, to get to the point, we became cool, like, she was super nice. And I used to say to my friends, this girl's too nice to me. I cannot work out, I can't work out why she's so nice to me. Like, you know, there are, there are people who are nice in this world and they're genuinely nice. You don't get a weird vibe about it. But she was extra, 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 extra nice. <laughs> so I used to think, why is she so nice to me? Like, well, not to me, but overly nice. You know, the people are like, hey, how are you? Like... We should go out for drinks and like text me all the time. Anyway, I thought maybe I'm overthinking it. I thought maybe I've made people horrible. So I am being overly skeptical about somebody. So I gave her the chance, gave her the benefit of the doubt. So let's say three months in, you know, she's like, oh, you know, what are you doing this summer? She, oh, I forgot to mention the key point here in this story. This girl was getting married, she married this year. Okay. So, uh, so we became friends and would go out for drinks after work and you know whatnot. She was a bit of a flaky character. Like you'd say, okay, mind you, work in the same place. It's like, okay. Let's. I finish work in about fifteen minutes. I'll see you there, like at the bar, or whatever. And she'll be like, okay, cool. And you're waiting there for half an hour. You're thinking, we work in the same place. Like, where have you been? Like, why are you late? And she could never justify it. Basically, it was a lot of rubbish. And this happened a few times to a point i'm very very particular about time wasting do not waste my time don't make me wait for too long i'm very very, very like you disrespecting me basically if you turn up late 10 minutes acceptable anything beyond 10 minutes is just rude if you don't have a valid excuse yeah anyway let's get to the point i'm trying to be quick with the story because i won't make it too long anywho so we're friends we go out for drinks where are you going? Where are you planning to go for your holiday? I'm like, well, I want to go to Santorini this summer. You know, just like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Weeks later, mind you, I haven't worked in this place for over a year. It's still not been over a year. It's been like less than... At this time, when I was hanging out with her, let's say we we're like four months in. And then uh, one time she texts me... She, ugh, ugh, I can't talk. One time she texts me at work we never used to speak face to face so i felt like she works in hr i don't want to seem as if i'm too close to her because then people will not trust me because obviously they'll think oh you're friends with a girl from hr whatever so we never used to speak in work i kept i was very professional at work i tried to keep my distance basically and i was new so it only made sense for me to do, do things that way eventually she texts me one time she's like oh do you know would you like to come to my hand i'm like sure I was like, yeah, cool, like, oh, you know, why not? You seem like a cool girl, like, we get along. Uh, mind you, I had ignored all the red flags, like her telling me personal information about people that I can't even say in this video because imagine if somebody who knows her and blah, blah, blah watched this video, it would become a whole different story. So personal things that I shouldn't know, I should not know about because she was told in a professional uh, capacity therefore she should not have passed this information on to me so i used to question i used to tell my friends this girl is just super nice but she keeps telling me personal information about people like can i trust her anyway she invited me to a hen do her best friend was meant to be organizing it sent a text message she was like oh have you got whatsapp i was like no i haven't got whatsapp um we're gonna have to communicate via um, texting i don't like whatsapp it gives me social anxiety there's now social media apps so i don't need whatsapp 
Okay, so anyway, her best friend texts me going, we're going to, I can't remember what place it was, was that a call? And then eventually a week goes by, I haven't got an update as to what's going on with the Hindu from her best friend. And then she tells me, oh, did you, my friend come back to you about this and that? I was like, no. I was like, okay, cool. She's like, I'm taking over. We're not speaking anymore. We fell out over whatever. I don't know. Don't really like to dig into people's personal issues because it's got nothing to do with me. Unless they choose to tell me, and then I can share my opinion about it. Anyway, fast forward. I want to get to the point. We, uh, she... She says, I'm going to take over. I'm going to book the holiday next week. Monday, sorry, after the weekend. Monday, I was like, cool, I'll give you the money. Uh, and then you guys can sort out the flight tickets yourselves. I was like, understandable. When you try and organise a thing with a lot of people, it can be very difficult. So, she collected funds from me, £250 on the day. She's like, I'm booking it today, Ruth. You've got the money, cool, there you go. That was that. Uh, you know, sent photos of the location, that, 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 whatever. You know how it works. And uh, 2 50 gone. Book my ho uh, flight ticket separately, non refundable. I should have read the small print and thought about it. Um, but it was like, if I don't book it, the flight tickets kept going up. And mind you, I wanted to go to Santorini anyway. So I thought, okay, well, why not? A part of me was hesitant because the flight time was 6 a.m. Mind you, you have to be at the airport four hours prior or two hours prior at least. I'm thinking, how am I going to be at this airport at 4 a.m.? She's like, oh, don't worry about it, girl, you can come around mine. She lives near the airport in West London. I was like, okay, no worries, that's sorted, you know, less stress for me. Fast track, um, the girl left, you know, the, you know, she left the job and worked for a new company now. And um, she left in a very weird way. I went on holiday, came back to work. She was still meant to be there, she wasn't there anymore. I checked with mutual friends, uh, one of my mutual friends said to me, well, one of our mutual friends said to me, she said she strained her leg, so she's not coming back to work. And then she told me a different story, she told me she was put on garden leave. So again, it just, there's a lot of lying going on, it's a very long story. A lot of lying, a lot of inconsistency, and another pet peeve, I cannot stand somebody who freaking lies, you know? There are lies where it's like, okay, whatever, but there are lies when somebody is really crazy, like compulsive liar. This girl was coming across a compulsive liar and I was like, okay, I need to get out of this whole plan altogether. And then she's telling me the wedding, oh, she's thinking about postponing it into the next year because her and her partner want to buy property. And I'm thinking, okay, do what you feel is best. I was sincere, I was like, you know what, do what you feel is best. That same day she texts me, oh, I can't, catering is like 9K cancellation. I was like, but they haven't bought the food and uh, whatever. And I'm just like, this, this, this is a mess before it even began. And I haven't got a, a invitation. I haven't got, she hasn't sent out invitations for the wedding. How about if I just change my mind altogether before it, it gets too late, before I get tied into this whole mess? And one day I text her. I was like, babes, I'm really sorry. I've got personal issues. I've got personal stuff going on. I won't be uh, able to make the Hindu. Um, can we... Um, yeah, if you know somebody who wants me to assign my air flight ticket, let me know. She's like my sister. It's cool. I speak to the uh, flight ticket company. Sorry, I was checking the car behind me, you know. I spoke to my, uh, sorry, I spoke to the air flight company. They're like, yeah, you can assign the, the air flight ticket, whatever, whatever, whatever. Because that, that that was a lot more money than I paid for the Hindu. Remind me. Sorry, let me remind you. I paid 250 for the Hindu. A flight ticket separately. So a flight ticket is like, my sister wants to go. And me and my work colleagues are like, her sister's not even going? What the hell's going on here? Okay, this story is so long. Like, I'm, I'm really like shortening the version because there's just so much in, inconsistency in behaviour, basically. Anyway, uh, she's like, what, what happened? I thought you booked your ticket. I was like, yeah, I did. But, you know, a lot of things going on right now. So I need to, you know, I can't make it. She's like, oh, I take it, you can't be a bride. Oh, <laughs> I forgot the very crucial part. So the reason why I was telling you that I hadn't been at this workplace for long is she made me a bridesmaid without me knowing about it. I have to reverse really quickly, rewind. We went out for drinks and um, we chat in a way, three or us with another work colleague. She goes, oh, this, this person was, you know, dissing Rue and, you know, I said, oh, how dare you say that? She's my bridesmaid. I've only known this girl for six months. 
And I'm um, sat there like, hmm, I didn't know I was a bridesmaid. I knew I was going to the hen do, but this whole bridesmaid situation is a whole different story. And I'm thinking, I don't want to embarrass her in front of this person. So let me text her when I'm going on my way home. I text her, I was like, I didn't know I was your bridesmaid. She's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's awkward. I was like, oh, thanks. She's like, oh, I'm going to ask you properly another time. She never did. So all these things were just a build up of confusion and it didn't make sense to me and I personally wouldn't make somebody who's not been my friend for a long time a bridesmaid I can't make you a bridesmaid if I've only known you for six months it just doesn't make sense so all these reasons were what made me just want to get out get myself out of the situation so anyway going back to the flight ticket situation I spoke to the airline they're like yeah you can assign it she said like, my sister's up for it I was like okay cool I let her know and I was like so I can assign the ticket to your sister how are we gonna work out the you know exchange of money I'm thinking, she, you know, I can't put her sister's name on the flight ticket when I, I'm not holding any money. Like, my money that I paid for the Hindu and the flight ticket, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense, okay? I say to her, okay, why don't you... Why don't you transfer the money, at least for the Hindu that I've paid for, the 250 She's like, oh, screw you. She changed the whole thing. Everything flipped reverse. She's like, I cannot replace you you are you know this is you know it's you're, you're the one who's gonna miss out it's your loss basically you sh blah 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 she went crazy on me and i'm like but i told you it's personal issues like she's like you should have told me instead of wasting my time and i'm thinking oh my gosh she's going crazy on me she's like so basically she's saying i'm not gonna pay you i'm thinking how how i, I just got scammed like you're not gonna pay me for my money that i gave you i was at a lot of places you pay a deposit first and then you pay the money later so you're not you know, we never saw receipts. We don't know. I don't know how much the whole thing was. So I feel cheated here. I've got no receipts to prove that you've paid the whole thing. And she's like, you're not a good, you know, you should have told me. You know, you. I see through your true colours now. I don't owe you anything because I don't know you. But at the same time, you are being rude. I was being nice to you. I was doing you seem she felt like she was doing me a favor making me her bridesmaid i felt like no i do not feel like you my hair looks a mess out again i didn't feel like she was doing me a favor because i didn't want to be a bridesmaid to begin with i was just being polite and then i realized she's not she's a compulsive liar i don't want to be a part of this anymore to cut the long story short because it's a very long story i don't want it to get too long the girl never gave me my money back the girl was rude and uh, said that I made a what was it? I made her feel worthless, and I said, "No, girl, you're you're worthy. I have no intention to make you feel worthless. You're a worthy girl. Like you should know that you got value in you. I I shouldn't be the one to make you feel like anything. You know. It's a long story. I wish I could throw some receipts in this in this video. I might do." I'll see how I feel. I'll see how I feel about that. So I can put the text message in, guys, of what she said to me. So, yeah, I'm about to lose money. She is gone quiet. She never responded to my text. She's gone quiet with my money. And I'm thinking, if I was, not, if I was in that situation, I would give back the money because I'm, I don't want anything. I don't want bad vibes attached to my wedding. And a lot of people I've spoken to are like, is there even a wedding brew? I'm, oh. There's so many stories. I think I could do a second part. If you guys want to hear second parts about how I uh, realize this girl is just not a person you can rely upon as a friend, let me know. I can really tell you the story from the beginning and what made me, what led me to take myself out of the equation. So, and yeah, what would you do to get your money back, guys? Would you do anything about it or would you let the 250 slide? Like, forget about it. It's not worth it. It's not worth, you know, liaising or even fighting for. Let me know what you guys think and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like if you like this video. And uh, if you like story times, I can do a lot more of these because there's always a story to tell. But with this girl, oh my gosh, I've washed my hands. Don't trust anyone you've not known, known for that long. Or at least if they act fake and, uh, you know, o over the top careful trust your intuition i always i had a gut feeling about this girl like something's not right you know she was too nice too nice and it's okay to be nice but there's a nice where there's something you, you're trying to get something long story 
Some people say she was trying to replace me because she fell out with her best friend. She thought, okay, I gotta make a new friend, you know, to be my bridesmaid. The bridesmaid situation was so weird for me, like, it was weird for me. You can see why I had to get myself out of the whole situation. Let me know how, what you guys think. I want to know what you really think about this. I know I told the story very quickly because I don't want the video too long, but yeah. That's the, that's the story. I got scammed, lost 250 because of someone else's Hindu wedding. And I didn't want to be a bridesmaid. And I left enough time. It was good notice. So, so the Hindu is in three months. I gave her enough notice. The wedding is in September. You know what I mean? And that's like a long way to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.